Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Boulder Canyon here in Farming Simulator 19. I have still got that on Euros, which we shouldn't have. So let's just change that over to miles and dollar dues like that. And let's come out of there. It takes a minute, always, when you do that changeover. It always takes just a couple of seconds just to switch it back. Right, so we need to do our mowing over here. I'm just going to press H like that, and our hired help is going to carry straight on with that little task. Right down through there. And I'm hoping that it will run all the way down without any issues. I was actually thinking that if I was to manually do four times around the edge of the field myself, I could get right on with doing the rowing up, which might speed things along a little bit. Um, but I dismissed this idea because I don't think it's in the long to long term I don't think it's going to really make that much of a difference so we'll just let the hired help carry on doing what it's doing now that should run all the way up to the other end up here without too much trouble at least that's what I'm hoping as, soon as you get down to there you just double check that it's gone all the way through absolutely fine right you know what I tell you what I am going to do this I am going to do just because I will then be able to, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking that if I was to manually do this a, a few times, um, it will actually make a difference. It will mean that we can go round the outside and we can row up four rounds all the way around the edge because the width of the two mowers is about the width of the rake that we've got. So even if it's not quite four rounds, if it's like three and a half, that'd be sufficient. And then the mowing can carry on while we're doing these outside rounds. And then once we've done that, we can... Um, right, I'm just going to bring that out like that and then back in like that. Carry on. Um, yeah, once we've done that, we'll, we'll sort of complete doing the rowing up around the edge and the mower will carry on doing what it's doing as well. And then we've got the just the, the rest of the work to do in the middle to do for our hay. And we'll sort of complete the mowing, I'm hoping, and the raking at roughly a similar rate. And then we've, we're free to carry on with the, the rest of the job. We can get the... Um, start turning the hay and doing the baling well actually no we can't do the baling and turning the hay at the same time can we we'll have to we will have to do the turning of the hay or do the baling first and then start turning the hay but what we will be able to do tell you what we will be able to do we will be able to we'll put the hay turner on this one rather than the rake on this one because we can get going with the turning of the hay with this one and then once that's been going for a bit we can then get the rake going with the small tractor and then as soon as the hay turning is finished we switch this one out and immediately switch over onto the um uh, onto the baler and we can get going with that one while the raking is still going so we should be able to run the whole process fairly efficiently at least this is what I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll wait and see. What I'm going to do... Actually, I was just thinking we could just turn this round and go back the other way. But I don't think I will. I think I'll just keep going the way that I'm going. I think that'll work out a little bit better for us. It'll just be easier. And also, I'll be able to judge it a bit better. Trying to run with the, mo the front-mounted mower in the middle. Um, yes, I can still see the mower on the outside edge, but I do find it a bit more difficult to actually do it like that. So I don't wish to do it like that today. So we'll bring this one around here. We'll lower them down in again like this. And maybe straighten up a little bit. There we go. We go running up through here. Now this should... I'm not putting the hired help going up on this run. We'll, we'll, we'll be doing that on our next run once I get back up here. I might just clean up all of the bit in front of the rock as well and we'll turn that into silage rather than having a little odd patch there um, and doing that for hay. I think it might just be a little bit easier if we just take that bit out very quickly with the mowers while we're there. Once, once we get back round, we can do that little bit and then we can crack on with the next part. 
So that will that will give us all of the hay that we need for our sheep for several harvests to come, I should think. We're not going to have to worry about feeding the sheep at all for absolutely ages after this, because we've only got a small pen there. Once we've completely filled up that pen of sheep, I am thinking that we should seriously consider getting another pen, but whether we just get another small pen and move that further back, put that somewhere else, that might be the best approach. I do think that we will keep that small pen right where it is. We won't actually, because I was originally thinking that we could remove it and then put a bigger pen in, but I don't think we're going to have room for that. Not right there. So instead, what I'm thinking is, if we keep that pen right where it is, we can clear a load more trees from the back over there and then we can put down a bigger pen and then we can sort of seed that one with several sheep from the small pen and the way i was going to do it was i want to keep the small pen the the breeding numbers in there as high as possible so that uh, that they keep reproducing as fast as possible but uh, so I was originally thinking, oh, you know what, we'll just we'll move 10 sheep over into the big pen and we'll do it like that. But the more I think about this, the more I think that the best way to actually do it would be to move, would put down a bigger pen, right? The, the small pen, I think, takes 100 sheep and the bigger pen takes 250. So when this small pen reaches 100 sheep, we won't sell any sheep. There's one thing that we will be doing later on, we will be selling some animals. Um... But no, we won't sell any sheep. What we will do instead is we will... Let's just lift that one. Uh, what we'll do instead is we will move all 100 sheep over. And once we've moved all 100 sheep over to the big pen, as the numbers start to increase... So the numbers then will increase in the big pen. We won't use the small one for a little while. And that means that the numbers, the number of sheep in the big pen, they will increase faster than what they would in the small pen. So we'll keep doing that. We'll keep letting the numbers build up and build up and build up until we've got ourselves uh, our 250 sheep. And then we can take out 30 or 40, you know, we could even move 50 sheep over into the small pen. So that one's got, he's back up to sort of halfway. And then... Uh, after that, we can worry about what we want to worry about. Right, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to do full lines all the way along the end. I'm just going to do from this point about here. And I'll take out this little bit here. Right, we'll just do a couple of lines along here. Take everything out there. So lift that one up like that. I will just come up there and do this end just to make it a little bit easier here like that um anyway the sheep we'll worry about them later because we're not even close to getting that number of sheep yet uh what are we on at the moment we're on like uh, 49 i think uh yeah 49 sheep at the moment so we've got a little ways to go before we reach our maximum of 100 sheep in the pen and so it's it's not something that we're going to have to deal with just yet. We will deal with it, and we will deal with it admirably, I've no doubt. So that's that's sort of our sheep. I'm kind of hoping, actually, that because we've started these sheep off nice and early, we're not really going to have to buy any more sheep at any point in the series, right? Where the sheep will just slowly keep reproducing and will slowly keep increasing the numbers of the sheep that we've got there until such time as we need a minimum of two large pens of sheep, don't we? Um, uh, no, one large pen. It's, it's one large pen of everything. We've got to have one large pen of everything, minimum numbers on the map. Uh, this doesn't include horses. So one large pen of sheep is the minimum, and I'm hoping that we'll reach that without having to buy any more at all because of the ones that we've already got. And I'm actually hoping that we'll end up with a quite a bit more than that because of the ones that we've already got uh, but that bit we'll have to wait and see right I've now done all of this bit over here plus we've opened up all the rest of it so I can set this one over here 
Bring him on round there. And we have now got four rounds around the outside, I'm hoping. So I put the hired help going on there. And set him in there. Right, that one's away. We'll let that one carry on. It's going to just whiz his way up and down there. Uh, while that one's doing that, we are going to go over and get our small tractor over here. And we're going to start rowing up. Um, I will do this bit around the rock as well. I'll just wait until the mower is done. We'll, we'll do the out, very outside rounds first. And we'll worry about doing this little bit over here afterwards, I think. Right. IMT. Let's get this bad boy underway. Still looks very, very odd the way that the, um, the thing connects to the tractor right there. That does look very strange. I can live with it, though. It, it is something that we can live with. Now, we bring you over that way, like that, and we lower you down, and then we go. That's all we need to do. It's nothing particularly complicated with this one. Up round there like that. So we're going to do four rounds, and this is all going to be turned into silage, and given the current price of silage, it will be sold immediately, and it will make us a nice bit of money. Then once we've done that... Okay, so it's slightly more than two mowers width that we're able to rake up using this, which means that we will have three rounds around the outside. We may not quite have four, but I think that'll be all right. It's, it's not going... Like, we can certainly take four down this side, and then the rest of it will sort of just leave, and we'll worry about that another time. Um... But yeah, with, with the current price of silage, we ought to get a decent return on all of this. That's what I'm hoping. Um, it's going to be interesting trying to do out these corners. Because these rakes do not turn very sharp. Right, that's the, that is the, 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 the bad thing about this rake. Is it's not very good at turning sharp. I mean, the outside round, yeah, fine. Not an issue, not a problem, not an issue at all, but when we come to going back round a few more times, it could cause us an issue or two. The mower is doing very well over there. I can just skip round that one, there we go. See, I'm, I'm taking most of, well, I'm actually taking all of what the front mower did on that pass there, but I may have been overlapping slightly when I was doing the mowing. So it's, it's it definitely starting to look like it'll be three rounds with the rake rather than four rounds. But that's still something I'm quite okay with. Out up there. How are you doing? I'd help is doing wonderfully up that side. This so if we, if we sell all of this, we're going to get a decent bit of cash. We it's like 330 per 1000 liters at the moment which is really quite high for silage. I would ideally, I'd like to do all of the field again as silage bales because we will make a really good amount of money with it and that's going to get us much, much closer towards our scorpion. Um, however, the amount of food that we've got in for the sheep at the moment is getting much lower. So we've either got to go and make hay, um, which we've got the machinery here to do, or we've got the other choice, which is to leave it and sell it as silage and um, go and buy ourselves a small uh, forage wagon. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go and buy a small forage wagon because I think it kind of defeats the whole point of what we've already done. We've already, we've already gone and gathered up um, stuff for doing this. We've already gone and gotten ourselves a... Um, a, a, a what do you call a? Uh, you, you know what the what do you call is? We've already gone and got ourselves a hay turner, and if we've already got the hay turner, then yeah, we we want we want to use the hay turner. The mower is doing a great job there, and it's actually taken out everything up one side right there, which is kind of what I was hoping it would do. So it should take up all the rest of the grass on its next pass back up this way before it heads back up the field. Right, are you going to swing out round? Yes, it is going to gather all of that. Excellent. On our next pass, we'll have to lift the rake up and lower it down when we come through. We'll worry about that on our next pass, won't we? Uh, for a lot of these, we're going to have to do a bit of manoeuvring round on the corners. And that's what this rake is really bad at. 
Right, it's, it's really not very good for doing the whole maneuvering and moving things around and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't do a very tidy job of it. Here, we're taking the two mower widths. We're down to the two mower widths just on this bit, I think. Are we? It's a job to tell what I'm raking up at the moment. Oh no, we didn't. the, the mower didn't turn around the other way. Like right here, we're going to have to go right up to the end of it. Like that. There. And I, that's as close as I can go. Right there. Then I've got to bring it out and turn it. Like that. You can't turn very sharp because it then starts to skid the wheels sideways. Which is really bad for the hitch and for the machine and, and for all of it in general. So... Overall, I'd like a bigger rake for this. I, well, not a bigger rake. It doesn't. The, the other rake is not really much different to this one, um, but a different rake. Helper F has completed their tail. Oh, great. So he's gone. Oh, I see what he's done. He drove all. We'll have to. We'll tab over to him. He went all the way down here. What on earth? What? Okay, I don't actually know what he did. It looks like he's done... Yeah, I know what he's done. He, he did that weird thing where it turns round and then drives all the way up across the field for no apparent reason. That's what it did. I really hate it when it does that. There's no need for it to do that. But that's what it did. It drove all the way up across the field without turning round and then lowered the mowers down at the other end and decided that actually it had had enough. It wasn't going to do anymore. Right, well, leave it to carry on with that. And in the meantime, we can carry on with this. I'll tell you what I will do is I'll just come down this far and we'll watch it turn round on its next turn so that we can make sure that it does indeed get that bit right here. Uh, it should do because we went round so many times. Yeah, we are, we're only going to get three complete turns on this. That's okay there. Hopefully when it gets to the rock on the other side, it will also be all right. And we'll go in and... Right, it's lowering down. That's good. So it is actually working at the moment. So it will go and do this little sort of tail end of the field up this side for now. And then whether it does the rest of it... We will have to wait and see. We've got all of this bit over here. There's not actually that much left in the middle, is there? Like, when you stop to think about it, there's not huge amounts left in the middle of this field. Bring this down here. I should be able to get round this one here without having to stop and lift it. But the other end of the field, I'm not going to be able to. And our next, look, see, right there. I've turned that too sharp and it's already skidding the wheels out. Very, very bad for the machinery. Bad for the tractor as well. You jackknife it round. Normally, if you jackknife it round too sharp, it doesn't skid the machinery out sideways. Normally, what it does is it pushes the drawbar up against the tyres. And then the cleats on the tyres, they clack against the drawbar of the machine you're using. Uh, if you do it tight enough, well, one, you leave these big rubber streaks on the drawbar of the machine you're pulling along, but two, you can actually completely destroy your tractor tyre doing that. Very, very bad practice, that is. Very, very bad practice. You don't want to be doing stuff like that. Very bad for your machine. All right? If, if you are doing that, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be thoroughly ashamed of yourself if you think that that is acceptable practice. I know that it does happen. Sometimes you don't really have a choice. Sometimes there are situations where you, you, you're sort of forced into it. Um, it's not ideal. It's not something that we would want to do. Any machinery operator doesn't want to damage his machine like that. Um, and we, we don't like to do it. So whenever it happens, we, we usually do feel a slight stab of shame when it happens. You, you, got the, you can hear the tra you can see the tractor tire clacking against the drawbar and you really hate it because you, you're aware that any moment it could be the complete end of that tractor. Uh, not the tractor, the tractor tyre. Right, it could be the complete end of it right there. But that is definitely not turning sharp enough. 
Right, that's as sharp as it'll turn right there, and that is, it definitely should be going further than that. That's what I don't like about this one. But that's more game limitations rather than the actual rake itself, I think. I mean, I know that these wheeled rakes like this, they're not really very good for turning corners, though, are they? They're not really designed for doing that very well. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, that one, he's going to turn this time. We'll keep an eye on that one. Once he goes up through the next time, we just want to make sure it does a tidy run all the way up through there. So we've got our third run right here. Time we take out the stuff that's in front of the rock, we'll have the equivalent of four rounds around the outside of the field. And that's not... So we're not going to have... The reason I said four rounds is because I don't want to be left with excessive amounts of um, grass that we're turning into hay. We don't need to make... Um, too much in a way of hay in this field right i've gone too far through there so if i just do it like that there and we'll keep that nice and simple there and what's the bed in oh no i was thinking it might actually mess that up and now if i go here see it turns it too sharp turns it too sharp for the actual rake not for the game well not not for the the tractor and i do actually need to turn that sharp but You'd think that you'd be able to turn it that sharp. You'd think that the, it would let you do it, even though it's not like an ideal situation. You'd think it would still let you go on and do that. Right. It's got to go up there. It's got a little bit of grass up there that it's not cut properly. So we will go round here. Like this. There. And I bring that down through, and then I'm going to stop that mower a second. Here. And switch over to this one. And it's that bit there. That, well, actually, I didn't really need to do it like that, but still. it's what, What's done is done. Let's go to you. Start that one up, and I'll just drop you down like that, and we'll take that bit of grass right there and then there's a little tiny strip right there that we also want to take out so I'll remove that there put that one up as well and bring that one round right now if I get this lined up just right what I'm hoping is yes it should now it should but we'll go it'll head up across and then when it comes back down on its next pass it should go right down to the end of the field without any issues at least that's what i'm hoping so this one can carry on up through here on our third and final pass so four rounds with the mower is almost exactly three rounds with the rake see so we definitely aren't going to be doing four rounds with the rake on this unless i do a bit more with the mower but i'm, I'm not going to do that We'll leave the rest of it for hay. Um, just come up to here. This is another bit that's going to be a bit mad. We'll, have, we'll, we'll just go round here a couple times. Look, see, it it gets right to there and it starts throwing the grass around as well. So that's another slight frustration with it. The other rake would be definitely be better, but this rake here, this one takes... What's the requirement on this one? It's, it's not very much at all. Mowers, uh, wind rowers right there. Requirement there is 35 horsepower. That one's 50. This one here is the one I'd like to replace it with, but it's 75 horsepower. And I don't think this little tractor here would actually have the oomph to be able to pull that bigger rake. Which is why we've got to keep using this one, at least for now. Um, I mean, for the most part, it does all right. Uh, for most of the work that we need this one to do, it does a fantastic job and we can't really fault it. Let's just keep running that one. I want to make sure that, that... What are you doing? Oh, it's because there's a bit of a gap there in the grass. It's just lifting up the mower while it goes across and it's carrying on right. That's good. That's going to work just fine. So we will run all the way down to the end, down here. And then we will lift. We'll do another pass along the top end. That one's going to lift as well. So I will get to there and lift. And then I can back round and see right there. that It, sh it should definitely turn a lot more than that angle right there. Right? It should definitely turn a lot more than that angle. That is way too shallow an angle for it to be allowed to turn. But I'm, I'm guessing it's doing it because it doesn't want you to be turning at that sharp angle while it's down on the ground. So they've sort of done that as a game mechanic to stop you from turning too sharply. That's my guess. 
Right, you're away. So now I can be away with this. So we're going to do one line all the way along this top end here. And then I want to go up and I want to do a couple rounds around the outside of that rock. And we also want to gather up this bit at this end here on this side of the rock. Gather all of this up. So all of this here, this will be turned into silage. And we should finish doing this little bit of raking around about the same time that the mower finishes doing all of the mowing. That's what I'm hoping. Bring you to there. Lift you up. Right, that bit's done quite nicely there. And then I can bring this one back over here. See? It should, it should definitely be able to turn sharper than it does. Bugs me that it won't allow it to turn sharper than that, but that's what we've got to live with, I suppose. I'll bring it in this way. I'll do a straight line along here, and then I'll do two rounds around this one. Like this. So we come in all the way around here. There we go. Up round there like that. And it does really slow it down going up this little bit of a hill here. We are getting towards the end of our episode, unfortunately. I was hoping that I'd be able to get going with the baler at least. But I don't think we're going to have time for getting going with the baler. Right, I'll swivel across onto there like that. And I'll bring this out. I'm going to bring it out a little bit there like that. And then we'll come up across like this. So I've got plenty of space here for the tractor with the um, hay turner to come up and turn around and stuff like that. Uh, the rake won't. The rake seems to struggle most places. It really does seem to struggle in, in for, for most of it. Right, we bring you over this way. And now what I want to do is I just want to kind of rake this one backwards and forwards until I've done everything that I want to do, which is over to about there, like that. And then I'll lift you up. And I'll swivel it round. I know, I know I'm turning it too sharp. But it's kind of, we're, we're, we're going to just sort of put up with that, I think. We'll, we'll just ignore the fact that I'm turning it too sharp so that we can get this bit out here. Uh, because I do, I believe that we should be able to turn that sharper than what the game actually allows us to. So, because I think that we should be able to do that more than what the game allows us to, I don't think that I'm damaging anything by deliberately turning it around. What do you mean? You, you haven't completed anything! I'm wondering if there's a stump down there, because it's not the first time it's done that. You've gone down to... Mm hmm... I don't really know. I don't know if there's a stump there or not. Let's bring you up this way and try and get you lined up. You up there. Right. I want to go there and that's away. And then in goes the other mower and that's away as well. Right, yeah, you've just about done. This one's just about done as well. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Let's drop that down there. And we come in here. There's only another pass or two left on this. And then we've done all of the raking. And the mowing will be finished at about the same time. And then all we've got to do is get the mowers going. Uh, sorry, the, the baler going. And bring that one in to finish it up. If I bring that round in a more gentle curve like that. Bring it up to that side. There. And sort of lower it down about there, I think. There we go. Right. That's pretty good. And then up the centre line up here, we've got just a little bit there. If I come up through here like this and sort of go across the lines that we've done, I can pull that together into a neat and tidy line like that. Sort of. The way that it spreads it out, it does it a little bit strangely. But it's, it's tidied it up a bit. I'm going to swing all the way out and around like that. And sometimes when you go across the lines, it does actually spread them out. But I think it's got to be a set height for it to do that. And bring you over here to there like that. 
And that, I think, is everything. I've got one little tiny bit there to get. I thought I would have everything already. You back. Oh, the mower missed a little tiny bit there. I hate it when it does that. It misses little tiny triangles sometimes. The mower is actually pretty good. With the hired help, the mower is normally pretty good. It doesn't often miss little bits. It's, it's only the, the rare little bits. Um, it seems to be a lot of when it's turning round with the front-mounted mower. Because it turns round, the front-mounted mower mows more than it should. And then that ends up causing it problems. And... I really don't like the way that it does that. That's, um, that is definitely a game bug. And I don't know what would cause a game bug like that. Uh, I'm not a programmer or anything, so I've, I've got no clue. Um, right. That one's done for a minute. So we will switch over to here. And I'll let the hired help do this turn around if it's going to. Look, see? There. It comes up to there. Right, I don't know what it's trying to do, but it's reversing up through and it's cutting more than it should because it's reversing with this mower, which it shouldn't do, and yeah. Alright, so I'm driving forwards and it's cut, it cut half of that. It did cut a big chunk of it. Now it's cut all of it. Right, that, that mower is lifted off the ground and it's cutting it. It should, that definitely should not be happening. I don't like that it happens at all. Start you, and then we go control V like that. So I will very quickly finish out this bit, and then we can go and get that baler on, and we are ready to start doing the silage bales around the edge and the, the sort of the messy bit around the rock. Once that's all done, we are then able to go and get started on making our hay. We got the rest of this field to turn and make into hay should be fairly quick to go and do that see the back mower you lift that one up and that one doesn't cut the grass at all the front mower you lift it up and it mows the grass anyway right it doesn't i'm thinking partly because it's not lifting it up high enough but if i lower it down it's actually lowering it down on the mower and not on the three-point link and because of that, I would say that it's an error with the mower itself. I've noticed this happens. It doesn't seem to matter what tractor I'm using. Maybe there is uh, some tractors that it doesn't happen on. But I'm not aware of any tractors that it doesn't happen on. I mean, let me know. Maybe the very bigger tractors that you would be more likely to have a front-mounted mower on anyway... Maybe those it, it does actually happen on. Now, the mowers are quite grubby at the moment... But we don't have time to go and clean them right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring them up here and I'm going to park them here. I'm going to put the, the back mower is going to go there. That one, unfortunately, I've just got to dump like that. Very unelegant. And then this one I'm going to unhitch right here. So I will lower that one down there and then unhitch like that. And then we're going to get our front weight on and we will get the baler hooked on. But we've run out of time for today's episode, so we're going to have to start our bailing in our next episode. If you've enjoyed this one, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Let's just go and get that baler hooked on. Reverse all the way over here. So we are ready to roll as soon as next week comes around. Go on. Up we go. Up we go. There we go. Right, we've now got the baler on. We are ready to roll. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.